Having reared ducks and birds for the past seven years, I enjoy everything in ducks and birds. From feathers, from the noise they make when I'm tired, their eggs, their meat, and I also get manure from them. So in birds, I love everything from interaction to management from, from egg to mature or an adult bird. I like that interaction. My name is Peter Kunyonya. I do exotic ducks and turkeys. And this is my story. Before I started uh, Dutch farming, I had uh, a small business in the Bakasi pipeline where I had a mini supermarket shop. And uh, according to, the, to what I like doing, eh, I was brought up in a family where everything was, was rotating within the farming. Eh. My experience with the supermarket was not that good to me because I, it was, I was not getting everything that I wanted from the supermarket. So I decided I can do some like side hustle. That's from the pot now. I started with the Kenyaji chicken. With the Kenyaji chicken, I had, I had a challenge with the market of the eggs. And also the feed, expense, feed was very expensive. So I decided not to keep eggs, uh, keep chicken for eggs. So I started selling themselves the chicken, but the, the market was not that good. So I decided to do what we call alternative poultry farming, which I started keeping ducks, the, in the uh, Kenyaji ducks, Muscovy ducks, and also turkeys and guinea fowls. With the bad experience I had with the chicken, eh, I, I had already sold the whatever I had. And now I had focused with the uh, ducks and turkeys and guinea fowls, because as if I compare the market for the both chicken, chicken egg and chicks themselves, if you compare them with ducks and ducklings and turkeys and poles, you can't compare them because with ducks and turkeys they have a good margin eh? and they don't feed a lot like a chicken because a chicken egg go for like 15 shillings and the duck's eggs can go from 50 shillings to 100 shillings. Same with turkeys can go from 70 shillings to 150 shillings. And a day of the chicks we are selling at 100 shillings for chicken. For ducklings we sell at 300 shillings, the same for turkeys. So I had, you have to do your calculations. Eh? I had that, uh, to do away with the chickens. Eh? Then I decided to do large scale. When I started do, doing duck farming, I noticed we have so many varieties of ducks. We have the exotic ducks. At the exotic side, we have like Luen, Pekin, Idianana, Cayuga, Black Swedish, Blue Swedish, Mallard, and all that. Among those bleeds, we have the, the bleeds that are, they, the market need them, like the Pekin and the Kaki Campbell, because they, have a, they attain weight very fast and they are also very good in laying. Uh, but also the turkeys, they have a market, like ready market for chicks. So many people want to do turkey farming, and we have some butcheries like today and some restaurants which need those ducks and uh, turkeys. So the market is there, the demand is high, which now keeps their price at a, a good price compared to chicken. Based on my experience, those who want to start ducks farming, you have to start with the right breed. And also you have to look for somebody who do breeding. Because when you get them, the ducks which are in, you have inbreeding, some farmers have a lot of inbreeding in their farm. You won't get the ducks that attain the market weight at the required period. Like pecking ducks, maturity period is two to three months. Some farmers, you can get them, they have pecking ducks, the same pecking ducks with four months and still below two kg. So it won't, you won't get enough out of that because you need to have ducks that will attain market weight within the, within the shortest time possible. Also, if, you, if it's for ducks, for eggs, khaki Campbell, you need a, a duck that you produce from 260 to 280 eggs per year. So if you have the one which are crossbred with 
other bleeds, you won't achieve that. So it's advisable to get dark bleeds, which are pure bleeds. You can get them from the farmer which do that dark farming. In dark farming, we have so many challenges, specifically for dark farming. Dark eggs are not that good if you want to do incubation through incubator. It's, it has some issues. You get like 20 to 30 percent. So it's advisable if you want to start ducks farming, you need some uh, mask of a ducks, the, the Kenyaji ducks. That's very good in breeding. So if you want to make good money out of ducks farming, you have to know how you'll be getting your duck rings. Because if you use an incubator, it's a challenge. But with mask of a ducks, it's very good in hatching and placing their chicks. So it's good to have those mask of a. If you have a good space, you can keep a good number of them where you can use them as an incubator. So I use an incubator and I also have the mask of a ducks for, for incubating. So I have a, that's a challenge, but I am trying to address it through all channels, like including that of using the turkeys and any other birds to hatch the duck sets. Having done alternative poultry farming for the past nine years, we have some experience with, which we can share with upcoming farmers. We offer training at a small fee. We deliver chicks. We normally sell chicks below, below three months. That's what we normally sell. And we deliver them all over in Kenya and East Africa. And uh, we must, if you want to start the same, it's advisable you come to our farm and see how we do it here. So we can advise you depending on the size of the space that you have. Since I started uh, this alternative pottery farming, some things have changed because now I have a place that I call mine. It's my family relies on birds farming now. I myself, I don't have any other business I do. So basically, bird farming now is what maintains me. I enjoy rearing them and interacting with them daily. That was my alternative poultry farming story. What is your farming story?